Hey everybody, so I am back to do my week 12 pregnancy vlog review. I am 13 weeks today, <clears throat> and let me just tell you, I feel so blessed to be here and to be this far along, and I just can't believe that I've made it uh, almost into the second trimester. Some people say that, you know, starting of week 13 is your second trimester. Some say it's the start 14 weeks. It depends on what you read, but I'm going to go with today is the start of my second trimester week 13 and I'm just so happy to be here so <clears throat> now that that's out of the way and let's move on right into symptoms um let's see um craving sweets all this past week and week and a half it's been awful all, all I want is sweets every time um I want a meal I just go for like sugary cereal or you know something like that I just gravitate toward it I have to like force myself to eat regular food because that's all I really want every time I go into the grocery store my shopping cart migrates to the bakery section because that's all I want or ice cream section so but I hear that if you crave sweets a lot that that's a sign that you're having a girl so that's exciting um, I've been peeing a lot more often which I thought was supposed to lighten up because your uterus is coming up off your bladder during this time so I don't know if it's maybe I'm I don't think I'm drinking any more than I was before I mean so who knows what's going on with that um, my gas and burping and all that fun fun stuff has definitely gotten worse um, I mean I pretty much just burp constantly or hiccup or you know whatever um, and lately it's been getting to the point where I have to like control it well I'm in doing a massage on on my clients because I have to just catch myself because it'll just start it'll just come up and I have to obviously not burp in the middle of the massage that would be completely inappropriate so um, I have to make sure and catch all that sound and stuff and you know hopefully the client can't hear my tummy bubbling and all that <clears throat> crazy noise so um, yeah that's definitely increasing which is fabulous um my most crazy symptom for this week is um, i'm getting the taste of blood a lot in my mouth when i'm drinking something any kind of suction uh through a straw or if i'm sucking on candy or whatever um i get that my aftertaste in my mouth is this is blood I, so i don't know if my blood volume is just increased to that point where anytime i just bring my cheeks together like that or, or swallow or anything I just I feel like I have that funky uh, taste in my mouth of, of blood so hopefully um, when I go see my dentist on the 18th um, I'll be able to figure out what the heck's going on if it's maybe just my gums are that sensitive or maybe there's something else going on I don't know <clears throat> but yeah that's definitely been the weirdest symptom so for the rest of this um, week um, I organized it by days because just to keep it a little bit more simple for you guys um, and this week I actually took notes every single day which is yay me um, let's see so we'll go into Monday that was the 25th that was the first time um, I thought I felt some movement um, it was Monday night probably around 9 p.m. Um, I was sitting there on the couch just watching TV with my husband and I just felt like bubbles and tickles and that just weird feeling down in my low abdomen area in my uterus area and it just went on for about between five and seven minutes and then I adjusted I moved my body and then I couldn't feel it anymore so I don't know if it was maybe the way I was sitting or if it was just gas or if it was the actual the baby moving I will never know I guess but it was definitely a different sensation that I haven't haven't experienced yet so that was exciting. Um, Tuesday was our 12-week doctor's appointment checkup. We I scheduled this um, on my own. It wasn't um, for my doctor. I just wanted to go in and to hear the heartbeat um, via Doppler because um, we wanted to tell the rest of our friends and family, and I didn't want to tell everybody until we knew for, for sure that we were, you know, in that safe zone with, you know, hearing the heartbeat through the Doppler around 12 weeks. So we, I scheduled that appointment. We went for that. Um, and let me just tell you that whole morning, I was just a nervous wreck. I was a mess. I couldn't, ugh, I couldn't stop thinking all the bad stuff. I couldn't stop just stressing out. And ugh, it was, my appointment wasn't until 2.30 in the afternoon. So I had all morning and I was just 
ugh, I was just a wreck. So I couldn't wait to get in there and just get it over with and get either good news, bad news, whatever news at that point, I didn't care. I just wanted to just do it. Um, so we get in there and the doctor's office or the, the place I go was completely dead, silent, no people around. I checked in more, more burping. See, excuse me. Jeez. I checked in at the reception desk and she told me that there's only one doctor and one nurse on staff, which is weird. It's never that slow. There's never only one doctor on staff. Um, so I check in and I go when I barely get to sit down in the chair and the nurse calls me back. So, um, my heart's racing already. I know that my, you know, my blood pressure is probably going to rise or whatever, and it's going to be elevated like it always is. So, um, but I had a different nurse this time. Um, and she said what she called my condition or whatever, white coat syndrome, because I told her, I'm like, every time I come into the office or anytime I go see a doctor, I just get nervous. doesn't matter what it's for. So she told me that, um, what we're going to do is to let me, you know, relax for a little bit and we'll take my blood pressure, you know, later on in the appointment. So that was an awesome idea. She sent me to the restroom. Oh, she weighed me first and I didn't gain any weight. Yay. Um, I was super um, nervous that I was just going to, cause I was on a route, like a routine, I guess, of every time I would go to the doctor, it was pretty much like a pound a week it averaged out to be. So um, I was like, really excited that I didn't gain any weight this time because I'm already up like nine pounds and that's plenty. I didn't, you know, I don't want to go too far, you know, in, uh, up just for my first trimester. I want to be able to gain weight, you know, later on in the pregnancy when I'm needing to gain weight, not because, you know, who knows because of the progesterone or whatever was causing me to gain weight. So that's exciting. Um, then she sends me to the restroom and then we go, um, to the doctor's office, the actual little room. And she sits down, she goes over my prescriptions and, or my, not my prescriptions, my medications that I take, my prenatals and all that stuff. Just to double check, I'm still taking the same stuff, which I am. And we kind of chit chat for a little bit. Um, and that day there was actually a really huge fire where I live. So we were talking about that. There was, it was a big old corporation, a plastic company had caught on fire and um, the whole like, it was like maybe four miles from my house. The whole sky was black and, you know, news crews were there and it was all over TV and people were saying, don't go outside, don't go outside, stay indoors, turn off your air conditioner, don't breathe that stuff in. It was crazy. So, but I had to leave. I had to go to the doctor's office. So we quit, got in the car, we drove. Thank God my doctor's appointment was on the opposite end of the town where the fire was. So the further we got away, the better the air quality was. So anyways, we're chit chatting about that and kind of got my mind off of everything. And then she went ahead and took my blood pressure and it was great. So that's like the secret for me is to just kind of let, you know, get my mind off of it and kind of give me a chance to calm down and then, you know, it's good. So that's awesome. I'm excited that, you know, that was my first, my first great blood pressure since this pregnancy started. So awesome. Awesome. Um, and then the doctor comes in and we talk a little bit more, you know, symptoms, how I'm feeling, all that good stuff. And um, we uh, jump right in, you know, it was just a quick little doctor's appointment. I think it was in there maybe 10 or 15 minutes. He lays me down and um, takes out the Doppler and my heart starts to race. I'm getting nervous already. Puts it on my stomach and at first he gets my heartbeat. And he had to check because he wasn't sure if it was mine or the baby's because it was kind of high, but he put his finger on my wrist and, you know, heard that it was my heartbeat. So, but then he moved it around a little bit more and pushed a little bit harder and we picked up the baby's heartbeat, which was, I think it was 163 or something like that. Between 160 and 165, which was great. It was amazing to hear that. I felt like a new person after leaving that office. And he said, go tell everybody, you know, don't, don't worry, just enjoy the rest of your, your night and enjoy the rest of the pregnancy and we'll see you in four weeks. So that's great. But what he doesn't know is I already have an appointment scheduled for August 8th, which would be 14 weeks for me and I'm seeing my regular doctor, which is awesome. So I just went ahead and kept that appointment instead of scheduling one for four weeks. So um, yeah. Um, oh, and he also checked my progesterone level um, because I'd done labs that Monday. Um, to see where it's at and everything. And he checked it and it was at 20, which last I had one, uh, my blood test, 
don't know, like three three weeks prior to that or something, three or four weeks prior to that, and it was only at 13. So it's gone up. That's great. And he told me that this is going to be the last week I'm going to need to take it, and I'm ecstatic about that. So on Sunday, no more progesterone for me. I just get to stop taking it. Hallelujah. I'm so ready to not have to do the, because I have to do, mine is vaginal, and it's just not fun. So I'm excited that no more progesterone for me. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, that night we went out to dinner with Tim's family and we went to Texas Roadhouse, told his siblings. Uh, I called my grandma because um, his parents already knew and my parents already knew, but the rest of the rest of the family didn't know, didn't know. And um, they are all super excited for us. Um, and then that night after we got home from dinner, um, I posted something on my um, personal Facebook and told all of our friends and so now everybody knows. Yeah, it's not a secret anymore. It's so exciting. Um, okay. And then let's see. Oh, that night again, around 1030 at night, I was laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep. And I noticed some more movement, which, or feeling like I thought was movement. But again, could have been gas. It only lasted about five minutes or so this time. Um, I can't wait to go to my next doctor's appointment on the 8th and figure out where my placenta is located. Hopefully he does an ultrasound and can tell me because I just want to know if that's, you know, why I'm thinking I'm feeling movement or if it's just gas. Um, let's see. Oh, um, Wednesday I got my, I ordered a Doppler and I got that in the mail and um, I couldn't wait to use it. So I, we quickly had dinner and then I used it and it took me. A couple of tries took me a little while to find it and get the right location but we found it um, and I got that on video so go check that out on my um, channel and um, it was let's see 12 weeks and four days I think yes 12 weeks and four days so that was it came up between 145 and 155 which was awesome um, let's see Thursday um, I didn't have to go to work didn't have anything so my mom and I went to um, babies are us and we went shopping and up to lunch and uh, went and got pedicures so got some baby buys to show you guys and I have to do this quick because I'm running out of time so um, this little thing it's a little sleeper has the elastic at the bottom so it makes it quick and easy for diaper changes and it has a little monkey monkey beanie and a little pair of little booty socks little things here and it's just green and brown and yellow and just gender neutral colors um, Let's picked up these because I couldn't help myself. I know they're boyish, but I couldn't help myself. Little teeny eeny weeny sandals. They are so cute. They're size one and they're on sale for only six dollars. So we couldn't help ourselves in getting that. Um, this was an also in the little sale bin was only three dollars. It's a little um, little white satin beanie, and you probably can't tell, but it has little stars and moons cut out <clears throat> on that. And then this is my favoriteest thing. I think this was on sale for 15 instead of 19 and it's a blankie. Oh, it's so soft, so soft. And it has a little giraffe on the t on the front and it says growing taller every day. So that's a super, super cute. I cannot, this is my first blanket for the little baby. So that's awesome. And that's pretty much all the baby buys for that day. But yeah, then we went to lunch and went and got pedigures and pampered ourselves and relaxed a little bit, which was great. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Sorry, I had to start rushing through this stuff because I was running, running out of time. Um, yeah, we told you about the doctor's appointment next, uh, or on the 8th, so that's coming up soon. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be it for my week 12 pregnancy review. Um, and you guys all have a very good, um, rest of your week. Okay, bye.